But the first problem involving geometry, a farmer wants to enclose a rectangular area next to the barn. If he has 200 feet of fencing to use, what dimensions of rectangle will maximize the area? What is that maximum area? Note that the fence is only three sides of the rectangle since the barn serves as the four sides of the enclosure. The diagram that we see here, I'm gonna highlight the side that we're gonna enclose. And basically just three sides of a four. With the notation provided by the problem, use the width as the x and the opposite side is the x. So then the rest of the side gonna be the rest from the 200 feet so it's going to be 200 minus one side is x, the other side is another x. Therefore, the length is 200 minus 2x. With the restriction that, oops, this x, right? So with the restriction that um, x is going to be greater than or equal to zero, which is the dimension, one dimension, and the other dimension, which is the, the length of 200 minus 2x must be greater than or equal to zero as well, because the the measurement must be non-negative number. I call this as a restriction or the uh, condition for, for the variable that we use. For x greater than or equal to zero is okay, nothing to solve for that. But for the link here, we're gonna solve for x, solve this inequality. That means we have 200 greater than or equal to two x or x is less than or equal to 100. So this is, the bound of the number for the x. Therefore, whatever the x quantity that we obtain, it must be between zero and 100 to make the fence possible. That means we are working on problem involving absolute maximum minimum. When the close interval is provided, the procedure of this is number one, you find a critical point or the critical value with the value x equals c. And then number two, you compute the function value at the critical point, function value at point A, function value at point B. In this case, point A is, A is zero and B is 100 because that's the left end and the right end of the interval. And then part number three or the last step, you're gonna compare uh, finding synthesis about the maximum area. So you're gonna look at which one that has the largest quantity, largest value of the function from part two or, or from step two. So that's the outline of this problem. And what, what function we're gonna use? Then we're gonna find out the largest value, largest of what? Largest of the area. So set up the area function based on this information. So the area, which is the A, from the product of the length and the width as the general formula. In our case, the length and the, the length is 200 minus 2x. The width is x. So then we form the area function as the function of x as 200 multiplied by x. 2x times x becomes 2x to the second. The first step, we're gonna find the critical value by using the derivative of the area. So the area or the A prime, um, the derivative of the area or the A prime equals 200 minus four X. This is a polynomial function. The case that the critical value can be computed when A prime is zero. So we set it be zero. Then we solve for x. Next step, we're gonna solve for x here. Then 200 equals 4x or x equals 50. So we get the x value as a critical value. Then we're gonna go uh, to step number two where we're gonna check the value of the area at critical value, area at the left end, which is zero and the area at the other end or at the point x equals 100. At 50, we're gonna replace it in the um, area formula, which is, I'm gonna highlight it, which is this area formula, okay? So 200 multiplied by 50 
minus 2 times 50 squared. So we get here as 1, 0, and then 3 more 0 minus 50 squared. That's uh, 25 and 2 zeros. So then we get 5,000 for this value. 10,000 minus 5,000, we get the area as 5,000 for the A at 50. And for A at zero, we get 200 times zero minus two times zero squared, that end up to be zero. And for 100, 200 multiplied by 100 minus two times 100 squared, do a quick calculation here. So this is gonna be two and then four zeros. And the last term here is two and with another four zero, that's zero as well. That's confirming what we analyzed before. Um, at x equals zero, that means no width. If no width, no fence. If the length, uh, if you use 100 as the width, but you have no more, no more fence to make it to form the length. So basically it cannot happen at zero at, at 100. So then the winner is A at 50. So we're gonna um, wrap up this problem by uh, going back what the question is. The question is what dimensions of the rectangle will maximize the area? So we answered the dimension would be, I'm gonna put up here, the dimensions would be X equals 50 and 200 minus 2x. Sin x is 50, that means 200, oops, isn't that? So then two times 50, that's 100. So 200 minus 100 to be 100. Dimension is gonna be 50 by 100 feet. That's the first part of the problem. Other question. So this is the first one. And then for the second one, the second one asks for the maximum area. So then the maximum area for the A is going to be A at 50. And we already computed the number on the step two, and uh, which is 5,000. So the answer is 5,000. And the unit is square feet. So we got both questions covered. And as I listed on the end, on the bottom of the question here, the answer is 50 feet, 50 feet by 100 feet, and the maximum area is 5,000 square feet.